Hey everybody, I wanted to show you a painting that I'm working on right now. This one, uh, it's actually, I'm reworking it, which I really love to do. This is a painting that I completed a year or so ago, and uh, I was looking at it, and there are just some things that I wanted to fix about it, particularly the lighting in the piece. So, I painted this while my studio was under construction, and I painted it under very bright lights which just meant that I painted a little too dark. I overcompensated for those lights. So I have lightened it up a little bit, not too much because the piece is meant to be dark, uh, but just a little bit so you can see a little bit more, uh, not detail, but just interest in the, in the shadowy barn here. So anyway, I just wanted to point out a couple of uh, textures that are um, mostly made up of glazes. And one is this tree back here. So while I was reworking this, I painted thick titanium white over that and let it dry. And in just a second, I'm going to come in close and show you a detailed shot of that. But anyway, it gave me this texture that I was after. And then I just glazed over that white paint after it had dried with uh, three or four glazes to get that color. So when I show it to you a little bit closer, you'll see how effective that was. And the same sort of um, technique throughout uh, the, the grass in here and the deep grass in here and then some on these two cupolas sticking up. More and more it's a goal while I'm painting to create my paintings in such a way that they feel that there's a mystery to the surface. So that's the best way to sum it up, a mystery to the surface. I'm telling you the mystery now but the viewer looking at this painting is not going to be it's not going to be easy to understand what and how I did this and one great artist that I just love um, George Innes you can see that in his work so I'm definitely emulating him in this painting but anyway I'm gonna bring you in close and show you a couple of close-ups now okay we're in close here and just showing you, this was straight white paint that I painted over the, uh, the grass color, the appropriate value and local, co uh, local color of the grasses in here. So this was, looked very strange, <laughs> like, like snow in the grass a couple of days ago. But after it dried, I've just been glazing color over it, which just gives such an interesting look to the grass here and you can see look at this edge and let me see if i can bring the bring that down a little bit it's a little bit too dark here but you, these were being blown out a little bit you can see all that interest along that edge and a lot of that was just accomplished the mix of putting that thick white paint in and then all the glazing back and forth to make that edge happen. Okay, and just one last close up here. This is the, the I think the part of the painting where uh, it's, it's all glazes, right? So all the color you see here is a glaze. And what besides just adding more interest to the painting? So this is opaque paint here and a glaze here opaque paint and uh, really opaque paint across. So this more distant mass is actually painted with thinner paint, which is really, really neat. Okay, so that just works well. But beyond that, it's a color that you really, I don't feel you can mix the same colors with opaque paint that you can with glazes. Just, uh, so what I mean is, I couldn't quite match that. It's just a different, when you're working with a glaze, it's just a different range of colors that they give you. So, and then there's a little bit of opaque paint over it, just so it didn't look too much like a cloud back there. It still has to read like a tree. But anyway, that is, I think that's the part where there's the most glazing. You can see just, oh, that edge, it's really working well. And here it is again all together. All right, well, thank you for watching this video all the way through. Be sure to ask any questions that you have in the comments. I'd love to answer. And if you have ideas for 
future Instagram TV videos. Let me know what you'd like to know, and I'll see if I can put a video together. Take care.